Good morning, International Christian Fellowship online family and on-campus family here in Rome. Pastor Jennifer here for your Thursday Connect greeting in April. And I want you to know that um, this month we are declaring that we are ready to receive. Ready to receive the resurrection power, ready to receive all that God has for us because He is the resurrection and the power. He is trustworthy. And so I've asked a couple of my friends, today you're going to hear from one of them, about the testimony of Thursday Connect and how God is trustworthy. And then she's going to pray with you at the end of this session. And I want you to know that on the first Thursday of May, we will begin our new um, Thursday Connect. And we are going to make it available in two ways. You can register and join a Zoom so we can have real live interaction. Or you can watch it on Facebook Live or Facebook, um, <clears throat> YouTube videos, whatever, at, at the, around that same time. So um, you'll be seeing a link and you go to that link and you register for the Thursday Connect. We'll be promoting it here on ICF Rome page and on my page as well and on our Instagram. But I want you to get the book Trustworthy by Lisa Turkhurst. I want you to recognize that there are people in the Bible who um, made mistakes. They failed like all of us. Yes, I said all of us. And God is trustworthy to forgive us, to redeem our stories, to give us a new chapter. And I am excited to, to delve into the, the kings in the Bible, first and second kings. I believe a Bible study should be a study of the Bible. And so we use a book study to help guide us in the study of books in the Bible. And we had a wonderful time last season as we studied Be Comforted from Isaiah and now we're going to be studying Trustworthy, the book studies of First and Second Kings. So watch and register. Join us where you can interact with us. But today, I want to encourage you that maybe you anticipated that by April 2021, some things in your life would be a little bit more stable and you would know what's happening. And for many of you, that is happening. You've gotten answers. You've made decisions. You're making steps forward. And for others, you're still in process. Well, guess what? All of us, all of us are really still in process. It's a process of life, our journey, until we reach the throne of God. And so today, I want you to reframe your perspective. I want you to lean into the testimony of someone else, not just me. I want you to take time to study your word. You know, the Psalms and the Proverbs are great places to read about how in the midst of David's battles and troubles, he trusted in the Lord. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 is a wonderful place to start. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on what you understand. But in all the decisions, in all your ways, acknowledge that you want God's way and then Go in that direction. And I believe that today God will encourage your heart. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm thankful for this opportunity that we have to connect. We're still in lockdown in Rome for um, a few more days or a couple weeks, hopefully not much longer, and things are going to start to really uh, shift. We're still masking. We're still social distancing. We're still taking temperature checks. We still can't go to a restaurant uh, or leave our little community in our region except to go to church and work. But I want you to know that wherever I am positioned, when I am trusting in the Lord, the Lord is with me. And the Lord is calling me to a higher place. And I will tell you, I've got some things stirring in my heart for next month. Um, but I'm just going to put this out there because it's something that I heard and I've been meditating on it. You know, there's a scripture that says, to whom much is given, much is required. Now, couple that with the statement, pressure is a privilege. Pressure is a privilege. The media, the memes, social media wants to always tell you to chill out and don't have pressure. But you know what? Championships are won at the height of pressure. 
And the champion who wins their game, their match, their graduation diploma, they did it because they had the privilege of having pressure moments to show their knowledge, their experience, their talent, and then there is a victory that comes after that moment of pressure. You know what? Pressure is a privilege because my God is trustworthy. If Jesus could endure the pressure of betrayal, of the cross, of the crucifixion, imagine the battle in the regions of the dam during those three days before he resurrected. And then even still, some didn't believe. Thomas had to see the scars in his hand. But pressure was a privilege because God, Jesus was on assignment from God the Father. So today, I want you to know that you're on assignment from God the Father. Pressure is a privilege. Wherever you are having pressure, that means if you're God's child, you can trust in the Lord with all your heart and know that he'll be with you and you will see the victory. Hang on to Jesus, hang on to his word, and be encouraged by this testimony and the prayer time today. I love you, and we'll see you next week, and then we'll start in on the first Thursday of May with our book study. God bless. Good morning, everyone. I'm Helen DeJenny, and I'm part of the ICF Church, also the Thursday Connect, and the Young Adults Group. Um, here, I'm here quickly to just give a a testimony of myself of what happened in my life and how the Thursday Connect really have, has helped me over um, the years and also to just introduce the new book that we will be studying for the next um, season. Um, so my testimony, I came to ICF Church I would say three or four years ago and it was a time in my life where I was very broken and I was going through a lot um, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, in every part of my life. And uh, just recapping back, I was in university at the time, and I was trying to study, but trying to also grow my faith. And it was just so many things that was on my plate. But I remember one thing was that I remember once I decided to connect with God on um, a spiritual level, and once I decided that this was going to be my life from now onwards, that I was going to leave um, the things of the world to go and live a life with God, I chose to come to church, but not only to come to church, but also to involve myself in different um, areas of ministry, um, not by serving at the time, but by just being there and involving myself in, with a people or a group of people who are faith-filled. And Thursday Connect was one of the things that I did. I remember making the time at, because we were able to join real life at the time. So I made the time to go and join and sit with um, women of God who were filled um, by the word, but also filled with the Holy Spirit. And they really encouraged me in their life and their testimony really helped me to, to know that the problems that I was going through was just for the time being, and that God was going to help me to uh, come out of it. And through sharing the Word of God um, and just sharing testimonies with each other, I was encouraged, but also I was transformed. And even now that we are live, um, sorry, not live, but now that we are on um, Facebook and Zoom and many things, I think many people who are you know, not in just Italy but around the world are able to join us and they're able to connect with us and not only connect with us you know on Facebook and Zoom but connect with us as one body of Christ and I think that is so important because wherever we are in the world whoever we are um, whatever we look like there's only one goal and that is to reach heaven and I think by coming together reading the Word of God understanding what God is saying to us um, through the Bible and through the books that we're reading helps us to really know the goals and the plans and the purpose of our life. So I think this is why um, Thursday Connect is such um, a special place for me because it's not only a place of learning, but it's a place of peace and it's a place of connecting with other people. So I have a quick Bible verse for you guys. It's from Psalm 62.8. It says, Trust only in God in every moment. 
Tell him all your troubles and pour out your heart longing to him. Believe me when I tell you, he will help you. This is from the Bible, and I think the Bible is the best place to refer to what God is trying to say in our lives. Because when we read the Word of God, which is the Bible, it helps us to know what is what God is saying to us. He may not come in an audible voice to speak to us, but He does speak through the Word, and that is where His voice comes from. And not that He doesn't speak in audible voices, and in other ways He does, but I think the main source of His voice should be through the Bible. And this verse is just an encouragement to all of us that we should trust in Him no matter our circumstances or situations, and that He knows our heart longing, which means He knows the desires of our heart. So He knows what you want, each one of you. He knows where you're sitting and what you're thinking right now. And so you should, you should trust Him because He will make those things that are in your heart happen for your life. And another Bible verse that I have comes from Jeremiah 1.5, and it says, I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. Why did I bring this Bible verse today? Because I want us to remember and realize that we can trust God as a father, as a friend, as the one who created us, because he knew us before we were even born. Before we were even formed in our mother's womb, he knew us. So who else can you trust but the one who knew you before you even knew yourself? That is the most important thing that we need to know about God, is that when we are doubting because of the circumstances around us, we need to know that the Father, the creator of all, is the one who bought, brought us here. And he didn't bring us without a purpose. There's always a purpose for each person's life. And that purpose will come to pass in the right time. The same way God had created us in different ages and different years, because he knew why you were supposed to be born on that exact year and what you were going to fulfill in the coming years after that. So we need to trust him in every circumstances, even when it seems like things are not coming to pass, even when it seems like things are closing in and we're in a dark tunnel with no light. We have to remember that Father God himself created you with a purpose. And if you are right now in a place of darkness, in a place um, of uncertainty, you just have to remember that in the midst of that, there is something that he is trying to teach you that will help you as you come out of there to fulfill the purpose that he has in your life. I also want to share with you Matthew eleven twenty eight. It says, Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. This Bible verse is an encouragement to all of us that, yes, we trust God, and yes, things can be heavy at times, but we have to come and give it back to Christ. When it's hard, when things are not going our way, because that's how life is, we have to remember to just leave the heavy burden at His feet. And he has said in a different portion of scripture that his yoke is easy and his burden is light. So we should do that, which means we have to pick up his, which is lighter, and give him ours, which is heavier. Because he doesn't want us to be perfect and we are not perfect. We can't act like we are perfect, but we can do great and excellent through Christ who gives us strength. And so I want you all to be encouraged today. And as we come um, together on Thursday Connect and as we come into this new season of reading um, our new book which will be right here I want you guys to be um, encouraged to um, learn what it means to trust God and also to have a trustworthy character so what does it mean to have a trustworthy character it's not just about trusting other people but it is how our life is a representation of how we trust God and I think that can only be visible if we are doing our due diligence in trusting God. And that can look different in every people's lives. But the one thing is that we know how to reach God. We know how to give our burdens to God. And we also know how to say, yes, Lord, I'm here. Use me when it's necessary. And all of this shows how we are obedient to him. And I think obedience is a big part of how we can trust God. And I want to finish with one quote that is from the book. And it says, our acts of obedience are evidence of where our trust truly lies. This quote 
if you break it down to understand it, it's just saying that the way we obey, where whoever we obey and how we obey shows where our trust lies. So if you obey God, then you truly, your life will truly show how you trust Him. So I really hope this message has blessed you and touched your hearts. And so in closing, I just want to pray with you guys. So let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for what you have said through me today. Father God, I pray whoever is going through hardships right now, that they will be able to open up their hearts and trust you, Father. I pray that everything that is um, heavy on their heart, that they would be able to lay it at your feet today. And every weary heart, Father, I pray that you bring joy to it. And Lord, I pray that every circumstances of their lives, they would be able to show you and just lay it all at your feet, Father, for you are God who can give joy and strength, Father God. And today I pray that you give this to your people. For whoever um, hears this message today, I pray that it will bless their hearts and even convict and change them, Father. And I lay, Lord Jesus, everything at your feet today, Lord, my burdens and everything that I have gone through, Lord. And I have seen you work and I have seen you change my life and I pray today that you do the same for every person who's watching this today Father God I pray Father God that you give them guidance in everything they do Lord I pray that you speak to them and help them to pick up the Bible and read the word today to hear your voice all of these things Lord I pray in your name Amen thank you everyone for joining and I hope this has really blessed you love you all bye